Hey guys, so welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my favorite twins build, the Victor Totem Knight. This build focuses heavily on using Victor to keep survivors oblivious, while also guarding and alerting me to any survivors who get too close to my totem. But the perks for this build are Nurse's Calling, to reveal the aura of healing survivors within 28 meters, Deadlock, so after a gen is repaired, the entity will block the gen with the most progress for 30 seconds, Scourge Pain Res, so this will spawn 4 special hooks, and when a survivor is hooked on one, the gen with the most progress will explode and instantly lose 15% of its progress. And for my last perk, and the main focus of the build, Hex Devour Hope. So I gain a token every time a survivor is unhooked while I am 24 meters away or more. At 2 tokens, I gain a 5% haste that is applied for 10 seconds after hooking a survivor. At 3 tokens, all survivors will have suffered from the exposed status. And at 5 tokens, I gain the ability to mori all survivors, even if they have not been hooked. The main focus of this build is to get Devour Hope stacked up as soon as possible, while using Victor to safeguard the totem and alert me to any nearby survivors. So it's super super important for this to get a totem spawn that Victor can body block, that way if I'm too far away when someone finds the totem or gets too close, they have to stop and kick him before they can actually cleanse my totem, which buys me just a little more time to get back to it. And to help keep survivors guessing, I use the Silencing Cloth to gain Undetectable for 20 seconds after Charlotte wakes from her dormant state, and the Drop of Perfume so any survivors that are in Victor's alert range while he is dormant will be inflicted with the Oblivious status effect. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So whatever ad you're getting, that is your own personalized ad. <laughs> Wait, was it not? Oh, it's a side, okay. Hmm. Schmickle schmick. I don't know, it looked like she was pointing over there in that room. There is extra scratches in there, so there's definitely somebody else in there. I also gotta watch my time run, Victor. When I get slow, I just gotta switch over to him really quick. Um, that way he doesn't disappear. Because I always forget to do that. That dead art, for sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she just did it there. You see, I always forget to switch back over to him, and then he disappears, and then I, like, he, he goes and crumbles up, and he does this little thing. And I always think that somebody kicked him, and then I panic. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I, I have I have no idea what that is. I've only ever had like homemade tacos. I've never I've never bought tacos from anywhere. Pretty sure she just saw me. Well, she didn't before. She did now. I actually made it. I didn't think I was going to. I think if she pulled the pallet, even though it looked like I was going to make it, if she pulled the pallet, I probably wouldn't have. If she runs close to that gate, I can bring Victor up. I'm going to do it. Oh, what? I'm stuck on air. What? Bro, I actually just got straight robbed. I actually just straight robbed. I don't want to put him back on the totem just yet until I... Take her away, because if I do it right now, she's probably going to clue in that there's a totem there. Later in the game. Right. We're going we're gonna to carry her away. She's going to go pick my victor, isn't she? Whoever that is. Yep, they just keep my victor. Okay, that makes sense why I get them out. <laughs> Tell me, man, they're all personalized ads. It's all for you. Let's get it far enough out of range. Uh, Maybe I think that I went back over here. Well, I am going back over here, but I just don't want her to know about Victor there. I gotta hate him. I gotta be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I can get this other girl down. No. Never mind, she finished the deal. 
Why can I not pick up? Hello? Like, glitch the cow won't let me do it without breaking that. He's over there. They... Oh no, they know. I gotta get over there right now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I haven't even had- I haven't even hit three stacks yet. They don't even know I have it. I- I should be able to make it though. I can make it. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Making sure that they left. That there's nobody else here. I'm gonna body block it with Charlotte then. <laughs> Yeah, suck on them apples. Right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, there's somebody else here too. Oh yeah, Fang, do you want to take a hit for her? You should totally take a hit for her. Please take a hit for her. I'm begging you. Watch out! She knows. She knows the secret that she should not know. Oh, I got too close. Right, Victor needs to go back to his perch. Um, of destiny. So that way nobody gets my totem. This right here is where he belongs. <laughs> that's how- that's how I know that nobody's on my totem. <laughs> I just- I just leave Victor there. Yeah, okay, they're- Gets detected by Victor and I find out and I go over there. Or they get detected by Victor, I find out, and they kick him and then by the time I get over there... Or by the time he's kicked, I'm already over there. <clears throat> I hate my undetectable at least. Beat. Worth deck. Hi Kate. Hi honey. I'm down to bloodlust, honestly. Oh, she beefed it up. Somebody else do this second heartbeat. Somebody beeps. Where is it? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's. It sounded like there was another one. I still think there might be somewhere. I'm gonna take her over here so that way she I can still guard my totem. Can't really get her on a scare trick, but it's whatever. So, pop that gen. Only one gen left. But I'm also about to get my fifth stack. I'm too close to switch. Because <laughs> I am very, very much too close to switch. I got my increased movement speed and I'm schmoovin'. I'm schmoovin'. Oh, she's eyeing it up, dude. They're all eyeing it up. They know. Too late for you, Cheryl. That was my last stack. Too late. I think if I go to- I'm gonna just warrior now. I was gonna say, I think if I go to do this, then she might have time to get it. But she's far enough away. You could start it, but she won't finish it. Oh my god, all the- all the redeems. Alright, where- where is she? I'm, uh, I'm gonna put Victor back on his little totem here. His totem duty. The ultimate twin strat. Victor the totem camper. Oh, I love this strat. 10 out of 10. Does aura reading perks work for Victor? No. Victor cannot see auras. He can see gen auras, he can't see your totem auras, he can't use any of the other reading perks, though. The only thing he gets is gen aura. Don't kick him. Don't kick him. Was it worth it? I don't think it was worth it. I'm gonna- I'm gonna warrior right here in the- in the corner. <laughs> Go get him, Victor. I love that Twins has two warriors. Two versions. Eat him. Eat him. <laughs> Heck yeah. Alright, now my little buddy goes back in the corner. It's such a disgusting strat and I love it. It only works if you, as long as you get a totem spawn that you can actually block in with Victor, but that's like the vast majority of totem spawns on this map, so it's super easy. And hey, hey Peace Bro, welcome in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Oh. I'll do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna regret it. Come here. Come here. Did she have dead art earlier? I don't remember. I don't think I saw her dead art earlier, but she does. So. Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic today. Just chilling. Having a bit of a fun time with twins. Stomping some stinkies. I'm gonna get my undetectable really quick. 
Use my claw. So that wish didn't hear me coming. I see a little bit of scratches there. He's gonna probably just go out the door, yeah. There's no way she stays in the pal when she's got that door right there. And I just gotta get her on the shorter side of this loop, and then I'll be in a bit much better position. As long as I don't let uh, Victor die, and I don't let Kate get the, uh, the totem, we good, we good. My face! My face! You know, twins? Stun sound kind of reminds me of, of Huntress in a way. I need to go check my gems really quick. Just keep switching back and forth. It'll restart my Victor timer so I don't have to worry about him disappearing. And it makes me undetectable as well. She knows that. <laughs> she knows that this is the end for her. Goodbye. Accept your fate, Kate. Accept your fate. I wish I could send Victor to do it, but he's busy. <laughs> Take this for funsies. I'm gonna go find some points. Find a hatch, I should say. I don't know why I said points, but close enough. Usually my hatch RNG in this map isn't too great, so I'm not overly confident that I'm gonna be the one to find it. But oh, that was a, oh, she had her dead her back. I was hoping I'd catch her off guard there. Sorry, we get her here. Not gonna be able to make it anywhere. Bang, bang! Just, just let it happen. Just let it happen. Just, just let it happen. Yeah. Are you a good thing? Goodbye. <laughs> Little bunny, little buddy. It's a rabbit hunting season. <laughs> I love this build. This is honestly my favorite twin build. But I do like the Victor version of the Mori better. It is. The wind's OP, please nerf. 